We're on. It's time. It's time. Hello, pals. Nice to see you. Shannon here. Matt here. If it's your first virtual guided session, welcome. If you've been joining us since the beginning a year ago, welcome. Uh, so a special welcome to Tomas and our request for Pigeon on the Gate. Well, now we have something already planned for you. And we all, we have so many requests even from last time. So only one request at a time here. Um, but maybe <laughs> we'll get to it next week. And uh, Harry, wonderful to have you tuning in. And hello to Shauna and County Antrim. Ooh. Wonderful to have you here. Mary, welcome. Oh, and Mary likes Pigeon on the Gate. So maybe we will mm. include that for Mary. I'm going to make a note. Folks, don't let the um, pigeon on the gate. We'll, we'll try to we'll try to get to it. Yes, mm -hmm. Ted, hi in Ottawa. Jaden, hello, welcome. Thanks for joining us uh, from Holland. Jacqueline, also in in the Netherlands, and Heather in Saint Paul, and Christiane in Bavaria. Welcome. Hi, Mike in Oregon. Hi, Maria. Welcome back. Hi, Allison in France. Hello, Gabriella in Germany. Hi, Johnny in LA, and Elena also in Southern California. Hello to Joe in Texas. Woohoo! Your first time live. You're very welcome. Hi, Don in Fort Collins. Welcome, Brandon in Roanoke and Dave in Michigan and Manuel in Spain. Welcome, folks. Keys, uh, welcome. Thanks for joining us. I think from the Netherlands as well. Petter, welcome and uh, happy to have you joining us from Norway. Kevin in Ottawa. Woohoo! Our chat just totally went away, and now here it is again. How exciting! That was that was thrilling. That it's was good, thrilling. It's good TV to tell people that too. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Uh, Dwayne, hello, welcome, Coach Dwayne and Christine and uh, Dominique in France, and Art in Vermont. We are getting ready to rock, are we? Yeah. And what are we going to start with, Matt? Uh, we are going to start with after the Battle of Aurum. Aurum, yes. Right. And hello, Barney in New York. Wonderful to have you here, Carolyn in New Brunswick. Uh, hello, Hughes family. Hello, mm. happy to have uh, representation in Armagh here. And um, Aga, uh, how, how wonderful, Agnieszka in Poland. Happy Easter to you. And to Ted and Tetsuya in Toronto. And Wyatt, hello. And Garode in Belfast. And Peter in San Diego. And Pipe Dan in Delaware. Woohoo! Hi, Claudia. And Norwich. Hi, Adele in Halifax. Hi, Mr. Ross Piper. Ross Piper. Hi, Mike. Nice to see you, Michael. And how exciting that we have someone joining us here now. Hi, Katrina down the road. Uh, Jacqueline in, um, yes, welcome. Laura, and uh, lovely to see you, my friend. And Amy in Pasadena. And how great to have somebody joining us from China. Thank you for being here. Sheshe. And Marina and Gregor, welcome. Uh, happy to have you here from Germany. And Carrie in Florida. And Robert in Canterbury in Tennessee. Um, that is so great. Uh, and Grania. Yeah, wonderful to see you from Kerry. Glad that it's sunny. And Tom in Syracuse. And Jenny, wonderful to have you folks joining us from Kong. And Saul in Michigan. And Mara in Italy. Ciao. And Chris in Alexandria. So happy to have you folks. So first tune, I'll write it in the chat. Oh, I forgot to give the heads up. I do sometimes do that, don't I? But here we go. We're starting off with the Battle of Ockram in A minor. One, two, here we go.
a good one. Yeah. And that was born of needing a little bit more A minor warm-ups in our lives. <laughs> so here we go. Hi, Mark in Scotland. Thanks for joining us. And Casey in Worcester, Ohio. And Allison in Rhode Island. I don't know if they say Worcester in Ohio. I know, but we're in yeah. Boston, so I'm trying to kind of bring it all around, Got it. you know. <laughs> um, and Francis, uh, Francis, nice to see you joining us from Paris. And um, let's see, Keith, I'm glad that you're here as well. And Terry in sunny Wales. Sounds like a sunny day on the other side of the pond. That's wonderful. So we're going to carry on with some polkas. Carry on. Oh, I didn't even mean to say that. With the carry polka, in fact. Hi, Jake, and happy April. What a pleasure for you, uh, for us, to have you joining us as well. Um, so we're going to play the carry polka followed by the Owl Palette Polka, which is a tune that I wrote many, many months ago uh, when Jennifer commented on the owl on the piano. The owl is underneath the sort of admittedly fading forsythias. This is week number three of those gorgeous yeah. forsythia that we cut from you for you, friends. Um, and I think this is their last week with us. Um, Ignacio, nice to see you. And I have something I think planned for you in a little bit from last time around. And Tony in Amsterdam, wonderful to have you joining us. So we are going to carry on with these polkas. Here we go. Hi, Pat, and welcome. Great to have you joining us. Latin da da polkas, here we go, D and G.
good uh, carry jokes there. Carry yoga. Carry oh. on. So uh, just in case you don't get the many layers of that joke, of course, the carry polka, K-E-R-R-Y polka or Egan's polka, very commonly known tune to many of us. Um, but of course, polkas like slides, uh, are a real mainstay in beautiful County Kerry and Cork in the Schlieve Lucro region of Ireland. We have a few folks tuning in uh, from Kerry. So, um, Grania, you would know slides and polkas like a lot of us know reels and jigs, I imagine. But um, that's, a, that's a beauty. It's an oldie and a goodie. But Jaden, concerned about the neck. Boy, be gentle to yourself. He pulled a muscle in his neck. That's oh. a real bummer. <laughs> um, Irish Bazooki, thank you for joining us. So happy to have you here. And also, um, thank you for the chords the, the, uh, that you moved um, our Inish here waltz. We'll try that again next week, yeah. I think. We'll give folks a, a week to learn it. But um, uh, you put that on the bazooki, so some chording ideas there for the bazooki. That is awesome. Thank you for that kindness. And uh, Arthur, wonderful to have you joining us today. And we have something from last time around. We'll do that later on for you. Uh, let's see here. So we're going to carry on. Hi, Diane, and wonderful to have you joining us from Dublin. We're going to carry on with one of my favoritest jigs of all time. It's called When the Cock Crows. It is day. It is in the key of G. Yes. That's a beauty. Um, I know it from the playing of Seamus Ennis uh, is, I think, where I learned it first. A gorgeous tune. And then we'll play Gallagher's Frolics, which was um, requested. Yes. Let's see. <laughs> Not sure who requested that last time, but anyway, Pat, hi in Dublin as well. Getting getting the nice uh, getting the nice Dublin representation here, and Dom in Brittany. Cuckoo! Here we go. One, two, G. <laughs> Thank you. 
And Karina, welcome. I'm glad to have you joining us again. Where are you in Germany again? I wonder where that music college is. And um, uh, anyway, glad to have you here. And uh, glad to have you. Do you play the flute? I have in my mind that you play the flute, but maybe you don't. Let us know. So uh, speaking of playing the flute, I love this next tune so much. Ignacio, you requested it last week, and I thought Road to Listoon, Barna Real. I don't know what that is. I'm going to have to look it up for you for next time. I did, and it's a tune that I call Sunny Brogans. I could have the name, um, you know, I, I'm not always 100% on the names. I oh, try. And there could be more than one. I do think I got that name from Don, though, so that might be a correct name. So we'll try Road to Listoon, Barna. I call it Sunny Brogans. And then we'll try Father Kelly's. Right, I think that's a guided session core, common core tune along with um, the Sligo Maid. We'll try that. Yeah? Okay. Nice. Sorry. That's okay. Sergio, welcome. And you've got your flute and enough calm even to play along. That's amazing when you are have a little kid around. Sometimes it's things are too exciting. So here we go. Oh, Reels. Sorry. Does that seem like a good pace? A little? Just make sure to keep it down a little. Yeah. One. Thank you. 
Let's drop D, Dave. We threw the pigeon on the gate yes. at the end. Yes. We threw the pigeon. We did. We yeah. just <laughs> whacked that sucker. And the pigeon survived yeah. because they're like... Because um... it wasn't driving the bus. Um, <laughs> and I, I did uh, uh, switch from drop D to standard in the middle there. Yes. Yes. Because E minor. That's right. So yay. Good call on that first tune though. That's a beauty, Ignacio. And thanks for reminding of us minding us of it and joe thank you for your nice comments there very lovely and um yes dave i do love standard tuning the way that matt plays in standard tuning very very open voicings that he chooses um and then wow switching to open d it's just brings the sun out yeah brings the sun and out just, and for the guitar geeks i have i do have a um a, a quick changer thing here so that so you can change quickly yeah uh, yeah so if i need to get, Yes, and you also play in drop uh, in Dadgad as well. Dadgad is a lovely. Yeah, though tuning. I don't know if I've ever even done that in, during the session. Really? Well, maybe next week we'll do all Dadgad. Who knows? Okay. Right? Yes. Let's do it. Dad Something Gad different. Dadgad Dad Dad Gad Gad week next week. No, not right. this week because we're week. already yeah, into we got, it. Yeah, got, okay. <laughs> so yes, Kevin, it is all about the multitasking, about mm. playing flute, uh, playing with you, man, he, mm. playing with all of us here. I can hear you. I can hear you. Mm. I can feel and sense everybody's music. I really can, um, and I'm not being cynical. Right, bassist? I am being for, for real. Um, that is a great handle. That's a good handle. That's like I, a great That's I, like a great gamer tag. I think, I think that, you, you, that might be Jim. Oh, really? <laughs> no, I'm joking. Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. I do have a friend, I have a friend, a great bass player, but his uh, email address is jackassbass. So maybe, yeah. it's, maybe it's a thing. But Jeff, Drunken Landlady, like that was a good mm. guess. Those E minor tunes, like the A minor ones can sometimes, who you know, hard to, to keep them apart. Das Glasbergspiel, das Glasbergspiel, 
Hello and welcome. Um, <clears throat> and Shauna in County Antrim, happy to have you. And Harry, happy to have you joining us as well. And what else? What else is going on? Sean Morris, yay! All G A D A D, just the zook. Are we are we gonna rock some zook? No, not second. yet. Okay, we're gonna play Wait something for Shane. I don't think that Shane is here today, but he requested the humors of Derry Crisan, which is such a beautiful tune. So for Shane in Antrim, if you're tuning in later, um, I think Derry Crisan is uh, in Monaghan, in County Monaghan, I believe. So this is a beauty, a beautiful sub jig. And uh, we're going to do it with a uh, former Name Your Tune selection. So this is a Name Your Tune flashback, a Name Your Tune of the past. Um, humors of, of Whiskey. That was a slip jig that we had done with our gang. And then let's do the Limerick Liftoff, which is one of my tunes. Uh, we're going to try that. Hello, Marco. Ciao and welcome. Thanks for joining us. We are now back to normal time for everybody. Now we're all calibrated time-wise. Yeah. So here we go. Uh, slip jig in G. First da 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 da. This is very fox hunter This It gym. is. Mm. I thought it was. It's not though. It's the hue. It's beautiful. Da 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 da. One, two, woo.
I do like the tune. That's yeah. a bit vain because I wrote it. But also, yeah. I very much associate it with this group um, because I wrote it when uh, Jay Lin had celebrated the Chinese space station. And in, in all fairness, like what he had said uh, was easily misconstrued. And Claudia thought that he was actually on SpaceX himself, and so I thought that was so funny, and so I wrote that tune, the Limerick Liftoff. If, if anyone is for watching Jaylen. this stream from a spaceship, please let us know. <laughs> we would like to know that. But Jalen used to tune in regularly uh, when he was living in Limerick, when the time uh, difference was a little Manageable. less austere, <laughs> and now he's back in China, but so sweet that we, we had somebody tuning in from China at the beginning, so um, that's wonderful. Thanks for muscling through the time difference, and uh, that is such a, that's a sweet tune for us to play I think some wonderful requests coming in I'm gonna do my best to get to some of them I'm writing them down um, and Lisa you're joining us uh, live this time sometimes uh, you need to watch afterwards so so happy to have you in real time with us so exciting um, but I'm seeing a lot of great requests the humors of belly laughing just for fun uh, but in all fairness the humors of belly Lachlan would be a great one uh, for the for the future um, I'm gonna write down these tunes i'm going to do my best to get to them if not all today later um garrett berry's uh jenny that's a lovely idea or jackson's morning breeze uh, Jack is that the same as jackson's morning, morning brush. brush i'm not sure yes so good stuff good stuff happening here good stuff good stuff all right so we're gonna carry on jackson's morning breeze sounds like um it sounds like some kind of product wind. Yeah, <laughs> some kind of product to use when after somebody, as you say, passes wind. Well, when I have mean, you ever said that? Don't ever never. say that again. <laughs> We're going to play, <laughs> ooh, wind that shakes the barley. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, this is yeah, funny. Uh, um, okay, so Tear Fada. Um, we'll try to get to wind that shakes the barley as well. Not related to no, your comment, no, Manhattan. But first, no. it is definitely time for some hornpipes. All right. We're going to do the few bob. We're going to do the few bob is few what bob. we're going to do. I love that tune. That was a name your tune selection of the past. I need to look and see how it starts. Um, I wrote it down. It's that one. That's a lovely one. Um, Dad, welcome and happy Easter to you and wonderful to have you joining us from California. Wee-hoo! So here we go. And then we're going to play after that for Marini. You asked for um, Alexander's. So we're going to play that. The... You know that little dog? I do. Okay, here we go. Sort of. Here we go. One, two, here we go.
Yeah. Like, I have to admit, I kind of had my doubts about Alexander's. Yeah, yeah. Um, but that's well, that's a goodie. Alexander kind Marini, of so. Marini, thank you for that recommendation. Very yeah. nice. So, folks, so delighted to have you joining us. Um, and Diane P. Joe Hayes, we'll do that next time. We'll do that next. Um, but now we're going to do something that Matt wrote, right? We have planned an offertory selection for you, friends. We do. And uh, yes, it is a. Um, I was trying to. I was. I just. I'm sorry. I'm distracted because I, I was looking at the famous Belgians thread and, and realizing we missed Eddie Merrickson there. But um, this oh yes, is, uh, this the is, cannibal. Yeah, the cannibal. The cannibal. Um, Eddie Merrickson, a great bike racer. So uh, we're gonna play a tune that I wrote some some years ago. It's called the Lemony Lullaby, and uh, it was written. The name comes from the the Lemony Snicket books uh, series of unfortunate events. Which are which are great, and uh, we were on a very long flight uh, from Boston to LA, and just it's one of those like you know, all the minor inconveniences that there are in air travel happen. Like nothing really bad, but a lot of little things. And uh, and I ended up writing this to sort of like try and chill us out, calm me down. I, yeah. <laughs> Oh, so will yes, go, this, is go, the, uh, this is Matt's, he, Matt's tune, The Lemony Lullaby. And if you are still being paid, friends, to work, um, we would love to have you chip in uh, to our tip jar. And honestly, if that is not available to you right now, um, no bother. I'm trying to type something in here. Come on, man. On um, so yes, I will. We have some, uh, there is the, the traditional, the increasingly traditional over the last year PayPal tip jar. Uh, as well as the, how come the, I can't the type email. in the chat anymore? I don't know. It's kind of weird. It's going to show up like eighteen times, maybe. I don't think so. No. Strange. Okay. No. Well, it doesn't want me to write this in, so no. that's okay. We have a PayPal tip jar that I'm trying to put in there, and it's just not letting me type anything in. That's strange. Anyway. Um, and it's not even about the PayPal. But should I refresh it? No, uh, I shouldn't do that. You could probably refresh it, but um, really, I'm well, scared. We'll just wait a minute. Give it a moment to. Thing, you know. Okay. Okay, folks. Um, here we go. Here we go. Here we go.
Lemony Lullaby. And how sweet that Saul typed in the title for us. I know. Because I you. am rendered unable to we type for untypable. some reason. Yeah. You want to try it one more time? I'm going to try it one more time. Try one more time. We're going to try one more time. Oh, dear. I think refreshing this. The, I'm afraid. The I'm, no, it's just fine. really not. You think so? I kind of do because you, yeah. Really? Okay, we're going to refresh. Folks, if something happens, what a bummer, huh? I don't think anything could happen, but... Oh, I have an idea. We yeah. could open another window. Just leave that one alone and open another one. Ah, that's a good idea. Yeah. Okay, I, you... And just, well, here, copy copy the uh, URL. This is good good TV. Yeah, this is good TV. Okay, and then go to the new one. Can we open. really open it in two? I don't know. Let's oh, dear. Out. It's not going to be a problem. No, we're going to do it in a different web browser. Oh, my God. You're opening a whole different yeah. program? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, anyway. Um, <laughs> that's yes. a sweetie. That's a very sweet tune, Matt. Yeah, thank Love you. it, thank and you thank you, much. folks. Thank you. And that <laughs> pause, pausing for things to happen. Maybe shrink that window so we can see it anyway, guys. Yeah. Did you do that okay. Well, will you talk to the nice people? I tell them what we're going to do next. People. We're going to do. Wait, oh, we're going to do? do some reels. Oh, next. oh fantastic! Yes, we're going to do. Uh, we're going to do a few reels. We are going to do uh, the much requested Tommy Peoples reel. So this is one we had a little chat about this last week. Tomas requested it. It's the the B minor one. Um, I think, did Alton record it? Is that why? Uh, anyway, uh, so I looked back through my notes and notebooks, and uh, I remember distinctly that Tommy, I asked him about that tune, because he has great names for his tunes, and I figured if he had written that tune, he would have a great name for it. Uh, but as it turned out, the um, uh, he said, he was like, oh, no, that's not really what I play. <laughs> you know, I have no idea about that tune. Uh, but then he, he finally ended up telling about, uh, he thinks it's called The Lonesome Bachelor. And the story that, I, that he gave me was he, uh, Cal McConnell back in the day, had this book um, of tunes and Tommy just recorded, taped them all for him so he could learn them. And uh, that was the one that he really liked. So Tomas also, yes, Tomas called it The Lonesome Bachelor. He also called it Jenny's Nettle Favorite or yeah. Jenny's Vaccination Favorite or something like that. And I have no idea. I mean, it could have 17 names, but that's the that's the thing that I had from it. Yes. Uh, okay, so I'm going to write those down. And then we're going to go into Arthur. You had asked for Coolies and also our friend um, uh, in Germany at the Music College had asked for that one. So we're going to try that, Coolies. And then let's go into... And then the wind that shakes the yeah, barley got it. Um, the for Tirfada. Good, good, good. And yeah, so um, Tomas, I think I think I just maybe you typed it before I said it, but the but yeah, he he taped it for for um, Connell who learned it and was playing it around, and I'm sure that's how um, that's how the Alton gang learned it. But okay, that was very exciting. That I was know, man, we were a like lot of tech. Browsers. That was a lot this of tech so for good. me. This is the most tech ever. We were so I don't techy. normally do the tech. So. <laughs> <laughs> that was a little okay. Here we yeah. go. Da 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 da
everybody great requests all right I'm gonna keep the hits a coming try to honor two more requests from last time around um, the Kerfontan mm. written by Hammy Hamilton uh, Martin Hayes recorded in D and so lots of fiddle players like to play it in D and we have done so on this very program with all of us <laughs> together um, we've also played it in G we're gonna do it in the Hammy key of G the Kerfontan 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 um, I think it's a place in Brittany and then we will go into, Jenny, you asked for, um, uh, lovely, lovely tune there, Garrett Berry's for the gang in Kong. So, um, and yes. And his parenting calls, I hear you, I hear you. And Tomas, I, I, I feel like the chances of a cassette from, uh, that was in, in Conal Grotta's hands in the 70s surviving is pretty slim, but you never know. Uh, <laughs> Okay, little... we're doing it. <clears throat> okay. That one and then. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. One. Here we go.
fingers weren't working the way that I expected them to. And so I made up for it with a little bit of creativity. There you go. That's you got to work with. You got to work with what's working. (laughs) All right. So good. Roxanne, I love the idea of doing Kefunten. Um, You called it Kerplunken uh, last time (laughs) around when we were talking about the tip jar, which is hilarious. Okay. So we're going to finish with one more request and I'll try to get to some of those other requests for next time. Good to have a little bit of history lesson there from Pat. (laughs) As always. Well, it's good. It's good. Um, interesting. When the 1798 Wexford rebels were buried after the Battle of Vinegar Hill, the barley as food uh, that they held in their pockets sprouted again. What a lovely story. Yeah. Oh, what a lovely... I was I was actually... I only skimmed and I thought it was going to be something, uh, something silly, but... I mean, maybe it's true and maybe it's, you know, apocryphal, but it's lovely. Anyway, I think it's great. Um, I love these stories. And that's it. The stories behind the music. Just like my podcast, Irish Music Stories Podcast. It's the show about traditional music and the much bigger stories behind it because really it is much more than these little tunes. It is uh, the stories behind them and all of us getting together to play these tunes together and to tell these stories. So thanks, folks, for joining us. Before we go, uh, thank you very much. Thank you. Merci beaucoup. Trieu Gares. Arigato Kam Sahamida, Susan Tak, Tinkoya, Vielen Dank, Grazie, Gramahagat, Muchas Gracias, Ef Haristo, Sheshe, Hvala Vam, Shukran, Eskarik Asko, Ta Palat, Spaisiba, Achehe, Salamat, Tarim Makasi, Dioch, Toda, Kusanem, Obrigado, Gam Un, Ndino Tenda, Miquech, Ndo, Hvala Lepa, Yudva, Gidos, Kopkunaka. Thank you, folks. We're going to end with the Boulevard. Matt, I have to say, some of your um, chord voicings today and your overall feel was very beautiful, oh, very well, springy, very, very springy. splendid. A nice send-off to the beautiful yep. Forsythia, the last the last go for the Forsythia if for you folks. Uh, They're if, fading fast. Yeah, they are. If you uh, Just to mention, if you don't already know, that, uh, over on Facebook, there is the virtual guided session Facebook group where you can continue the, the chat all week long. Uh, just if you if you aren't already a member and want to be a member, make sure to answer the questions so we know that you're a human being. And uh, if, and we'll be unfolding, if, unveiling our yeah. plans for a remote collaboration with folks mm-hmm. on the Facebook page yeah. soon. And, yeah. And then just the other over on the uh, the Matt and Shannon Heaton Facebook page, uh, there is a fascinating, fascinating uh, photo uh, essay of people's desk mugs with tin whistles and guitar picks in it going on right now. It's really awesome. I mean, we're all, like, all around the world doing all of these tunes, sharing all these tunes together, and I just love that we're having this common experience across oceans of the um, tin whistle mugs. So we're going to play the Boule Vogue uh, Maltz, not one that I had known before, Harry, so thank you for your recommendation for you. And, um, yes, so we'll play this. and and if you... If you happen to find the Bula Vogue on the, the, the notation on the session.org, uh, the chords on it are wrong, 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 wrong. So. Okay, thank you for that, Matt. <laughs> on that, since we were setting a beautiful, springy, happy, uh, was positive that, did, tone. Was that bad? I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm that's sorry. okay. They were different mm-hmm. from what I'm you sorry, might everybody. do. Sorry, guys. <laughs> okay, one, two, three, one. <laughs>
Thanks so much, everybody. Thank you. And a belated hi to you, Chuck. Thanks for joining us. And hi to Michael and Osha. And a belated hi to Jeremy. <clears throat> he didn't get a shout out last week. So thanks, folks, for joining us. Have a wonderful week. Take care.